welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. My name is Richard Saunders. Thanks for tuning in once again. Now we're taking a look at a Virarch bullpup today. It is the Virarch HW100BP. Um, and as you would imagine, it's based very much on the, on the full length H, uh, HW100 rifle. Um, and there's a lot of similarities in this, which we'll go through. Um, now it seems to me that Virarch are usually a little bit late or would appear to be a little bit late to the market. Uh, they bought out the HW100 rifle sometime after PCPs had really been established as a category. But when in doing that, they looked around, saw what other people were doing, and when they bought out their rifle, you know, it really hit the mark right from the get-go. And the HW100 rifle is still one of the best PCP rifles out there. Um, and they kind of did the same with the bullpup as well. Um, again, you know, before this came out, there were lots and lots of different bullpups uh, already in the market. The, the category was, was quite well established. And again, Virac took their time, looked around, saw what the competition was doing before they brought this out. And once again, they really hit the mark right from the get-go. Now, there are two versions to this rifle. There is a standard rifle, which is 835 millimeters long uh, and has a 410 millimeter barrel. Then there's this much shorter version, which is the HW100BP Carbine, which is 735 millimeters long uh, and has a shorter 310 millimeter barrel. Now the weight is about 3.3 kilos. And when you first pick the gun up, it kind of looks deceptively heavy, um, but all of that weight is in the back of the rifle back here. And when you shoulder the rifle, you really don't notice that weight at all. It just seems to sort of disappear. Because as I say, it's all sort of in line with your, your body and your trunk as you, as you shoulder the rifle. Now what we're going to do is, as usual, we're going to have a look through the rifle's key features. Um, we're going to zoom in on some of those things as well. Then we're going to go through the, uh, the air filling process, the magazine filling process. And then finally, I'll get outside, go down the range and put a few pellets through it uh, on a few targets. The HW100BP has this lovely black rubberized synthetic stock. Um, very, very tactile, very, very good quality. Um, it really is a pleasure to, to hold and to use. Starting from the back, you have a height adjustable butt pad. There's a little uh, bolt in the back here that you slacken off and that will raise this butt pad up and down to give you really good shoulder fit. Then um, forward of that, just up here, you have a black plastic uh, cheek piece, which uh, gives you an element of comfort when you're putting the rifle up to your shoulder. And below that is a safety catch, which can be operated from the left or the right side of the rifle. I should say the rifle is completely ambidextrous. Um, now the interesting thing with the safety catch is it will only work when the gun is cocked. So in this uncocked state, it won't move. Moving forward again, you have the, the magazine inserts in here into the breech up here. And as you can see, it sits within the action itself. It doesn't sit proud um, of, the, uh, of the action up here, which is really good as well. Now, the, the side lever is sprung on the first stage. Very, very smooth, really is very, very smooth to operate. Push it back in the first stage and pull it back a second stage to cock the rifle um, and to probe a pellet. The pistol grip comes straight from the HW44 pistol. Um, again, ambidextrous, very, very comfortable. Has this gray sort of um, section to it as well, which adds to the, uh, the look of the rifle. Now, one thing to bear in mind is when you, if you pick this rifle up and you look underneath, it kind of looks like all Virac has done is take an HW44 pistol and bolt it into a, uh, a BP, a bullpup uh, stock. And if you sort of undid a couple of bolts here and here, it looks like an HW44 pistol would just drop out. Don't be fooled though, because that is absolutely not the case. This is not uh, an HW44 pistol in a bullpup stock, absolutely not. Um, and now the trigger itself is, Virac make the best triggers uh, as far as I'm concerned, really lovely triggers. Uh, two stages, uh, fully adjustable, no creep, nice defined stop to the second stage and the let off is, is lovely and crisp as well. Um, the trigger itself is quite, the blade itself is quite steep, uh, quite straight with just a slight curve in it. 
Um, but there's it's a little bit rounded on the front end to make it very comfortable in the figure finger. And indeed, you can actually move this blade um, around a little bit as well to make sure it's in the perfect uh, position for you. The, uh, the scope rail is nice and generous. Uh, you have a Picatinny section up here for you to use, obviously, Picatinny mounts. Um, if you prefer, though, you can remove this Picatinny section via a couple of Allen screws up here, take that off, and mount a scope directly to an underlying dovetail rail. So that's a really good option. The air cylinder is just over 100 uh, cc's in size. Um, looks quite small. It actually gives you around about 60 full powered shots, which, you know, if you're going to be using this primarily from shooting from a vehicle or from a hide or, you know, around a farm building, farm buildings, you know, 60 shots is going to be ample for, for several sessions probably. If you're going to be using this mainly on the range, then yeah, you're going to have to start filling up uh, more regularly than you would with most other uh, rifles. The filling process though is really easy and we'll show you that in a second. Um, it's achieved by accessing a port just down here um, and, and, and users of the HW100 rifle will be very familiar uh, with the setup as well. And then right at the front, as you can see underneath here, um, is a, a gauge to show you what your overall air pressure fill is. Now the barrel, as I said before, is 310 millimeters on the carbine, 410 on the standard version, uh, and is threaded to take a silencer, and comes with a Virarc's proprietary silencer, which uh, screws into a half-inch UNF thread down here. Um, Virarc silencer is some of the best in the game. Does a fantastic job of hushing this down, and you know you really, really will want to put a silencer on this because although it's a tiny little gun. Boy, is it loud if you take the silencer off. Um, so yeah, so good job that it comes with a silencer because you will definitely want this for hunting and for using in the garden. So I think those are the main points. We'll zoom in on a few of those now in detail, and then we'll talk through the magazine and air uh, filling process. Now, removing the magazine is exactly the same as it is on the full-length Virac HW100 rifle. Uh, first of all, you have to pull back this little retaining catch back here. Then cock the rifle by pulling back the side lever. And then just simply pull the magazine out from the right-hand side of the rifle. The HW100 magazine is probably one of the simplest magazines um, available and also one of the best. It's just a, a straightforward uh, metal disc, has a couple of O-rings running around um, the perimeter as well. Um, has a smooth side, which is the front that faces away from you in the breech, and then a more sort of knobbly side, uh, which is the back of the magazine and faces you as you, um, as you take aim. And all you need to do literally is push the pellets in one at a time into the holes. Now, the 177 and the tw and the 22 will both take 14 pellets. So, um, yeah, which is a real sort of good capacity um, magazine. And the other thing is that you also get uh, two magazines with the HW100 BP, which is a good thing as well. Um, so all you do is you just keep filling all of those in until you have all 14 pellets in the back of the magazine and you know, they won't fall out, they're held in there nice and, nice and secure. Inserting the magazine is nice and easy. Uh, what you need to do first of all is cock the rifle and then put the, the safety catch on safe. Then pull back this retaining catch here and insert the magazine 
with the backs of the pellets facing you from the right hand side. Now hopefully you can see on there, there's like a little white kind of silvery mark on the edge of the magazine. What you want to do is you want to put that into the mat, put that into the breech and then show you this from the other side. Rotate that so that that silver white mark is just visible above the edge of the stock here. Then once you've done that, return the side lever and push that, uh, that retaining catch forward again. Now the reason why you want that white mark just visible is that as you go through your, your shots or 14 shots, this magazine will rotate. And when that uh, mark reappears again in that same position, it's basically telling you that you've run out of pellets. Filling up with air is nice and straightforward. Um, you get a, a provided fill probe, um, which you obviously will need to insert into your air line. And then right at the front of the cylinder here, there is a plastic stopper. Pull that out, insert the fill probe into that port, and then give the rifle a 200 bar fill. And there we go, 200 bars. Remove that probe and return that stopper. And you're good to go. Now you can expect around about 60 full powered shots from a full, from a full fill in a 2.2 and a little bit less in 1.77. So that's a quick rundown on the HW100BP, the carbine version. Next stop is to go down the range and see how it shoots. Well, down at uh, Reading Air Target Shooting Club again here in Berkshire, and I've got the Viarac HW100BP carbine with me. Set the target out at 30 meters. Going to be shooting with Air Arms Diablo Field pellets, 5.52 millimeter size, 0.22 caliber. So let's see how we get on. That's empty. Right, well let's go and have a look at the target. Right, well let's have a look at that then. Oops, where are we? There we go. So that's a full magazine 14 shots at, at uh, 30 metres with Air Arms Diablo Field 2.2 pellets, 5.52 millimetres. And that is, uh, yeah, it's one hole, isn't it? A little bit of adjustment, probably down and left, but uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. So that concludes our review of the Viarac HW100 BP, the carbine edition. Um, really is perfection in miniature. This is a 12 foot pound 2.2 rifle. Uh, very, very accurate and consistent to it around about 11 foot pounds, maybe a smidgen under. Um, now people get bent out of shape if their rifle isn't hitting 11.95 foot pounds. But I'm telling you, this is perfectly accurate and perfectly powerful enough 
for hunting in the UK at normal air gunning distances. And in fact, I've got a, a Vyrak HW100 rifle and that is pushing out 10.8 foot pounds in 177. And I use that for shooting rabbits out to 40 meters very, very regularly. Anyway, I hope you found that of use and of interest. If you did, hit the like button, please. And also subscribe to the channel where you'll find more information on this rifle, uh, the rest of the Vyrak range as well, and a whole bunch of other air gunning topics too. So thanks for watching.